We will use two methods to measure the diameter of the blood vessel. The first method will use a plugin named as vessel diameter. In the second method, a macro will be used to measure the diameter. To use the blood vessel diameter plugin, head to the website as shown in the screen below. The link is also available in the description below. Download the plugin diameter.class. For detailed information, please visit the published article. The link is also available in the description below. Once the diameter.class plugin has been downloaded, proceed for installation of the plugin. Click on Plugins, Install, select the diameter.class and save it in the plugins folder. To verify the installation of the plugins, click on Plugins and scroll down to find the diameter plugin. To use the vessel diameter plugin, select the straight line tool from the image J toolbar and draw a line perpendicular to the blood vessel. The line is to be drawn across the blood vessel. Five measurements are taken from a line selection, including the selection and two parallel shifts in opposite directions. The vessel's five diameters and Five pairs of start and end points are copied to an Excel file. To measure the diameter, click on Plugins and Diameter. To find the result, open an Excel file and paste the results. The output contains the diameter of the blood vessel from five different reasons. For each diameter measurement, the start and the end points are generated. To find the average diameter of the blood vessel, users can select all the values displayed and use the Excel formula for averaging. Thus, the average diameter of the blood vessel has been calculated. To use the second method of quantification, head to the website as shown in the screen below. Download the macro and open the text file once downloaded. Simply. Copy the entire code and head back to Image J and click on Plugins, New, and Macro. In this macro window, paste the code. To save this macro, click on File, Save As, rename the file with the extension .ijm, and save it. This macro is now ready to be used. To store the result, a text or a CSV file is required. For instance, let us create a text file. Rename the text file according to your choice and select the directory and then save the text file. Now open the macro using image J. This macro can be run directly or it can be installed. To run the macro without installing, click on Run. This pop-up window allows users to select the text file that was created to store the output result. Click OK to proceed and select the text file. The next pop-up will ask users to input the image of interest. Click OK and select the image of interest. The action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line to mark one of the outermost edges of the blood vessels and then hit OK. Select the segmented line tool from above and draw a line at the outermost edge in the blood vessel. Once completed, click OK. The next action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line in the other edge of the blood vessel. At this time, the segmented line is converted into splines. Now, use the segmented line tool and draw the line along the edge. Once completed, click OK. The macro uses minimum of 3 and maximum of 15 points to calculate the average diameter between the two objects. To get the average diameter, between the two lines, the shortest distance between points along the shorter line and the longer line are taken into account. In the next pop-up window, it asks the users whether to continue measuring 
additional images or to save the measurement and quit the macro program. Once the action is chosen, click OK. Now click on the text file that was created earlier. The text file contains the name of the input image, location of the file, time of measurement, and the results. Length line 1 corresponds to the first line generated at the first edge of the blood vessel. Length line 2 corresponds to the other line generated at the other edge of the blood vessel. The distance would refer to the maximum of 15 points to calculate the average diameter. Measured is the average diameter of the blood vessel. The rest of the results are the mean, standard deviation, minimum, and the maximum. Thanks for watching.